this is the standard screen when the transmitter is functioning normally. You can give command to not or on for the sider or even from the amplifier. If the transmitter is in remote, it means not in local mode, you can give command. It takes the command only from remote. The same in the amplifier. If this is not in local, you will see you can give command. So I put it in remote. local for local I can adjust the output power of the excited giving enter it's up or down For the 2 kW, the output power must be between 8 and 10 watts. There is a 10 dB attenuator, so the input power to the transmitter will be between 800 and 1 watt. To set the power of the amplifier, I put to set the output power I go down so to program mode to enter up push to program the forward Enter so I can set the output power to other values. One kilowatt for example. Enter. I accept. Yes. And then to escape, I come back to the main menu without touch the input power. Here, I can even go ahead through the menu, browsing all the display screen to see how it's working the transmitter, the temperature, the this is very important thing where I see the voltage and the current of the power supply. And this is also a very important thing where I see the input power is must be between and 800 watt, 800 milliwatt, and one watt. Or with escape, I come back to the menu. I can even browse the menu going up. So the first screen will be the input power. And with the tape, I come back. I can browse freely all the menu. To see the operating values of the amplifier, I can Broke the several things with the up down arrow. In escape, I come back always to the main menu. Then, for example, I can see the forward power input. It must be always between a hundred milliwatt and one watt. I can see 
the other we use the voltage and current of the power supply. This is a very important menu. So I can see even other values like the like temperature, ambient temperature, and the rest temperature, and so on. With escape, I come back always to the main menu. All, when a normal functioning, all the red LEDs must be off. It means the transmitter is working okay. Also, the green LED must be on. It means the transmitter is on and it is on air. It is given power. A very important menu is the factory setting. It must be used only by a specialized engineer or in factory. But it's important to know how it works. You go to program mode, then go to special program mode, then to power offset, and then here you find the values that adjust the reading of the transmitter. The first one, forward, adjust the reading of the output power. Reflected, adjust the reading of the reflected power. So, input forward, adjust the reading of the input power. This menu I setting in factory and must not be changed. The values are also writing in the data sheet of the amplifier. This video will show us how to connect the two kilowatt FM transmitter. We will see the connection on the back. It is the back of the exciter and the back of the amplifier. We can see there is an attenuator and the output of the exciter. This attenuator is very important because the input power of the amplifier is just one watt. It must be connected in this point, but it's just one watt. This is very useful to protect the exciter from eventually reflected power of the on the input of the amplifier. So it would never will have problems of reflected power of the input of the amplifier. Moreover the exciter is very protected by this attenuator. It's a 10 dB attenuator. The connection must be always the output of the exciter, the attenuator, the output of the attenuator must go inside the input of the amplifier. So the output of the amplifier is connected to the charge, to the dummy load, and this is the mains.